got John here again from Papa Bear Studios. Forgive my voice, I'm a little hoarse after a, a performance last night. Today I want to tell you a little bit about one of my favorite bands, The Sweet. Sweet's one of those bands where you think, I don't know if I know who they are. And then you hear some of the songs they're responsible for and you're like, oh yeah, I know that song. Ballroom Blitz, Fox on the Run, Little Willie, Wig Wham Bam, Blockbuster, just to name a couple. I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I have. I don't have enough. I wish I had more. And maybe turn you on to a band who you thought just had a couple of hits, who are really, really more than that. I'll start off with some CDs. Sweet has so many different collections. It's insane. I'm just looking at some here, like the Sweet Collection. This is a really good one. The Best of Sweet Millennium Collection. This is actually a live concert from 1973. Awesome. Mick Tucker, by the way, the drummer of Sweet, one of the most underrated drummers of all time, he reminded me a lot of Keith Moon. If you get the chance, Google or go on YouTube and check him out. A 1995 version of the Sweet with Brian Connolly singing, one of the last recordings he ever made. Another compilation, Solid Gold the Sweet, and something called The Nice Surprise. It actually has a version of Paperback Writer on it, which is really good. Then you have their albums, Funny How Sweet Coco Can Be, of course, Desolation Boulevard, their original Bell release, Identity Crisis, which is one of their last albums. These are in no particular order, by the way. Sweet Fanny Adams, one of their best albums. Give Us a Wink, Off the Record, Cut Above the Rest with the UK cover, Level Headed, That Sucked, Water's Edge, and this strange rehearsals disc that I got a long time ago. It sounds really cool, they're rehearsing for their Level Headed tour. And as I've mentioned, and I'm a vinyl collector too, I don't have nearly enough sweet vinyl, but I do have a couple of interesting pieces like this uh, UK import called Sweet 16 and a bunch of a uh, bunch of cuts from uh, across the, all the years the US level headed the Korean level headed the US bell release the US off the record US give us a wink US cut above the rest US Sweet 6 which is actually Water's Edge in the UK and speaking of the UK their two album their two LP sets strung up which is actually a, a live compil a compilation of a live album and a studio album and the UK Desolation Boulevard, which is completely different from the US. You can tell immediately because it has the sweet logo versus just the S-W-E-E-T going down the corner. And of course, you can't forget their 45s. I'm a fan of 45s, I just like them a lot. Dream On and California Nights, Cover Girl and Love Is Like Oxygen, Fever of Love and Heartbreak Today. I think that's my single favorite sweet song, you should Google it. Love Is Like Oxygen on some kind of weird retro thing. Action in Medusa. Medusa is a great song too. Off the original Desolation Boulevard. Stairway of the Stars, both stock and promo. Ballroom Blitz, the one everybody knows, and Restless on the back. And a bunch of copies of Fox on the Run and Burn on the Flame. Little Willie and Man from Mecca. Blockbuster, Need a Lot of Lovin'. The UK, Fox on the Run and Miss Demeanor, which I don't believe was released anywhere else. May have been strung up. I remember correctly. The new single version, fantastic. Woohoo! That's when they added the uh, the synth to it. Originally, it didn't have the synth to it, just a straight up rock and roll tune. Teenage Rampage and Own Up, Take a Look at Yourself, UK. That Genie and Papa Joe, UK. And the thing grounding it out is the Funny Funny Bell promo with Funny Funny on both sides. Unfortunately, they didn't do a stereo for or a stereo 45 of this. So I hope you take the opportunity to check out the suite. If you don't know much about them, they're definitely worth your time and energy and effort. Again, Mick Tucker, unbelievable drummer. Before he lost his voice, Brian Connolly, one of the best singers I believe in the, in the uh, of the British Invasion. Andy Scott, tremendous guitar player, very innovative. He used to do a lot of harmonizing guitars with Steve Priest on the bass guitar. Solid, solid bass player and vocalist as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. Go check out the suite. Come back for more Papa Bear Studio, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.